everyone! This week we're creating a leprechaun jar for St. Patrick's Day. To get started you'll need a jar. Any kind will work, but I got this one at Hobby Lobby. Next you'll need some acrylic paint to paint the inside of the jar. I got this multi-surface green paint from Michaels. And I used two different paintbrushes, this larger one to cover big areas and then a smaller one to get in the areas that I couldn't get with the larger one. And it works best if you don't try to drag the brush across the surface because it will kind of lift it off the glass. It's better if you just kind of dab it. And also, you don't want this to be super opaque. It will be harder to see the leprechaun that way. So it's okay if you can see little areas where the light shines through. So when I was finished and it dried, it looked like this. As you can see, it's not completely opaque and that is okay. Feel free to draw your own leprechaun, but I'm using this pattern and you can get this at the link in the description. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut that out. So the leprechaun looks like this. Now this works best if the paper is black. It creates a silhouette the best that way. So rather than tracing this again onto some black paper, I'm just going to paint it black with acrylic paint. You could also try printing this onto black paper, but I'm not sure how well the printer ink will show up. So once I was finished, I had the leprechaun and these three shamrock shapes, and they are ready to go inside the jar. You'll also need something to light up the jar with. I'm using this set of fairy lights, and it's a pretty bright set, so it helps create a silhouette better. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this inside, and this isn't going to be the final position of it. I'm just using it to decide where to place the silhouette. So find the side of the jar that the silhouette will show through the best. And then decide how you want to position it. Then take it back out of the jar, and I'm using this black Spanish moss to make it look like there's some grass in the bottom of the jar. So I'm just going to take a clump of this and put it in the bottom. And this is optional, of course. And then I use this paint bottle just to push the moss down into the bottom. So I'm going to put the lights back in just to see how it looks with the moss in the bottom. Just make some adjustments. And now I'm ready to put the leprechaun inside. So for this I'm just using tape to attach it because this will allow you to move it if you need to and it still holds it in place well. So I'm just sticking a piece of tape on the back of the leprechaun, putting the lights inside the jar and deciding where to position it and then just pressing that tape in place. Then I'll just use a few more pieces to make sure it's really secure. So once that was completely attached, I started adding the shamrocks and I attached them the same exact way. First, I just decided where to place it. Then I took it back out and put some tape on the back and then just pressed the tape in place. So I ended up putting one shamrock on the side where his arm is lifted up and two on the other side. So it looks like this. So now I'm taking those lights back out of the jar and just positioning them so they will fill the jar the best. Then I just took the end and kind of wrapped it around to secure them all in place, but feel free to put these in however you'd like. So I can see that that fills the jar well. So I'm just going to put the battery pack in now, making sure that the switch is on the top side where I can get to it without taking it out of the jar. So make sure everything is inside, and you can put the lid on. I just wanted to show you here what it looks like in a darker room.
But I'm going to add one more thing. I'm just going to add some ribbon around the top of the jar. So I tried adding it here first below the lid, but I found that the bow kind of got in the way of the leprechaun silhouette. So I decided to take that off and tie it around the lid instead. And I would suggest using a slightly longer ribbon than I did. Just trim that, made some adjustments, and that is the finished leprechaun jar. I hope you enjoyed the St. Patrick's Day tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more videos from my channel, I will put some on screen, and I hope you have a great day.